Yo, what's going on? Kamikaze Soundwaves, and for this video today, I have a unboxing and review for you of the iHip Jambar wireless speaker. Um, I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> uh, no, it, it was literally on sale at Walgreens for like five, $5.99, I think, or $4.99, something like that. I think it normally retails for like maybe 17 or 18 bucks. Uh, Walgreens in my area just tended to do this thing where they just put all these random electronics on sale. I guess nobody buys them. They're just trying to clear out the inventory and make space for something else. I don't know. Uh, but no, I, I bought it. Uh, I thought I'd just give it to my wife. She kind of like stole my son's uh, Bluetooth speaker thing. So I figured I'd pick this up, review it, and then uh, see what it's all about, then give it to her. Unless this thing rocks and she's SOL. But uh, no, uh, I'm not expecting this thing to be fantastic. Uh, but this is a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, that's about all I got on it. It looks like it's kind of like one of those knockoff uh, Beats pills. Um, so we can look at some of the specifications on the box. Uh, that's what it says. I'll read off some of these for you. It says that it charges through a micro cable. Um, it says that it has a SD slot for up to 32 gigs. What, what would you need to put that into here? Because it wouldn't be able to read the music off of it. It has another data slot for an, up to another 32 gigs. I, I, I may have to read the instructions on this one. Uh, but apparently it has an FM radio, which is kind of cool. Um, blah, 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 blah. Basically, it's got about a solid two hours of playback time. It, on the flip side, it takes about two hours to charge. So that's what you're looking with. Uh, and it looks like it's got a wireless range of over 30 feet. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, get this thing out of this box. Now I will say I bought like a one I hit product. Uh, the box was crude. Like it, it was like made in a third world country, third world country. Um, so this one actually has like tape and stuff on it. So knife time. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I've had this thing sitting on my shelf for a few days. I am kind of interested in it. I want to see what the uh, sound output on this thing may happen to be. But get some of this tape off of here. And the box is super light, so uh, I'm expecting the actual uh, Bluetooth speaker to be light as well, which is nice. Um, so, I cut all the tape off it. Man, you know, I cut it in the wrong way, but it's all good. It is all good. There we go. And I have cutting all the tape off at this point, so this thing should just basically fall out of the box at this point. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Open like so. Oh man, this looks terrible. Okay, it's coming out in a plastic thing like this. But uh, nothing else in the box. Okay. So let's go ahead and just pull it out because I'm curious what it feels like. Because I've been looking at it through the box and I'm like, I wonder what that feels like. Whoa. Whoa. This feels cheap as hell. This feels like if you drop this thing one time, it's the plastic on it is definitely going to crack, if not break all the way, depending on just which way it happens to fall or which way, uh, how high you ended up dropping it, it's definitely gonna crack. Um, it may it may survive a few falls, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see it surviving. It just happened to fall the wrong way. Uh, but this is kind of like the base of it, so it's supposed to kind of sit like this. Uh, the speakers are here. On the back, we have uh, the on and off switch. Uh, we have to charge it through USB. Uh, we have micro SD to charge it. And we have a uh, thing right here, I guess, to put those 32 gigs in, which, like I said, I don't know why you would do that. Uh, but on top, we have the logo here that I hit. We've got a volume up and a volume down. In the middle, M, I would suppose that is mute. Okay. So I there's no lights or anything on it to like let me know that it, oh, okay. So I press the I hit button. I'm sure that's how I'll sync it and all that stuff. So uh, this is it in a nutshell. Um, Okay, I mean, I guess the whole point is to kind of plug it up and see what the sound quality is. But let's see what else came with it. Um, 
nothing else except for this. Uh, let's suppose this is the charging cable. It is, okay. Tiny toilet paper instructions here. And a charging with a audio jack on it. So I guess if uh, Bluetooth isn't working for you, you could plug this into your computer or something. That's what it seems to be. So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So I guess you could get the music through this as well, as well Bluetooth. The Bluetooth's not working out for you or you're uh, still stuck in the 90s. Uh, but okay, let's go ahead um, and throw these out as well. Let's go ahead and just pair this thing uh, to my phone. So I am using Android, so typical stuff should just go to your settings. Let's just plug it up, maybe, because maybe it needs a charge. So let's just go ahead and plug it in. That way I definitely know it's at least on or charging. Okay, well, you know, let's try this the off and on switch. I didn't think about that because, once again, I'm a retard. On. Bluetooth mode. Oh, shit. Sorry. Ready for connection. I was not expecting that, man. It, scared, it literally scared the shit out of me. Fucking dildo of death over here. Bluetooth is ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our Bluetooth settings. Bluetooth, connected nearby devices, yes. Jam bar, hey, it popped right up. That's pretty cool, see? I don't know if you can see that, but jam bar right down here. Uh, it did pop up, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click on it. Pairing. Bluetooth connected. That was easy, that was quick. Uh, I had some problems with some Bluetooth things recently uh, that were just a pain in the ass to connect, like this one I have on here, that EVO VG controller thing whatever uh but hey it's connected so i'm gonna go ahead and do this uh first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up a song and we're gonna crank it up and see what this bad boy can do i'm not expecting much to be honest with you i'm gonna put this thing on that i've been jamming out to lately this guy named immaculate he's dope as hell so let's play that real quick Flame emojis That's in the Matt. comments. Make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't, click the bell to get notifications. Because we're going to really put gas on this series. Start dropping no more. Beat by Chase Moore. Ill Matt. Let me slow it. Okay. Um, sounds bad. Sounds really bad. There is no, there's no bass in it. Uh, the bass that it, it's trying to throw out there, it's like hollow bass. It's like, not like a boom, boom. You know, it's like a hop. Like an empty hollow bass drop. I mean, it's the best way I can put it. It's just hollow. It bases. It's trying to do bass, but it's not happening. Let me play it for one more second while it's sitting on the ground and not in my hand. Let's just see if that does any difference. And look. Yo, I be the one that started. I wrote this standing on the edge of Earth right before jumping off it. I'm in another orbit on my way. Still bad. It's still bad. Um, but hey. Five bucks, six dollars, maybe with taxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Maybe it's not that bad. Um, it definitely fills the room. Um, I wouldn't say this is something if you're having a house party and having guests over. I mean, maybe you could have some light music in the back with this. Uh, maybe if you're just hanging out in the backyard uh, with some friends playing cards or something like that, you could have this out there for some music. These things are cool like that. But honestly, I think the speakers on my Galaxy Six uh, Edge Plus pretty comparable to this just a little bit this is this is louder it's definitely louder than my phone um uh, but not by much uh to be honest with you this thing's got a killer speaker on it man um so i mean I, I mean i really don't got much else to say about it i mean it works it does what it's supposed to do i wasn't expecting much with iHip. most iHip products that i've got uh well like i got i've only gotten one other one uh, I wasn't pleasantly surprised by them. They're knockoff, cheap, you know, headphone speaker things, uh, useless tech, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're di in dying need for one of these and you happen to see one in Walgreens and, you know, for five bucks, I guess it's something nice to have in case, you know, you are having a little get together in the front yard or backyard, uh, you know, or you're in the shower, you just throw your phone on for some music for you to work because my wife, she does that all the time. 
Uh, that's what she uses the uh, the other Bluetooth thing for. So um, anyway, that's all I really got on it. Um, it's not great, but for five bucks, if you could find it for five bucks, I guess you could find some use for it. Uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. So anyway, this was an unboxing review of iHip Knockoff Beats Pill Jam Bar. Is it really called a jam bar? I don't, I mean, is that a name for these things? I'll have to research it. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Much obliged for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.